is offering food assistance to local families in need as part of its Christmas program. This Tuesday, the Salvation Army will provide more than 7,700 people with a free Christmas dinner. The giveaway will be at the Dayton Croc Center on North Kiwi Street from 9 in the morning until 4.30 p.m. some sunshine today. I was so happy to see that. In my office, I had to take a little video that I posted on Twitter. If you're on Twitter, go ahead and follow me and you can see that video of the sunshine. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, we're not going to see a whole lot of it <laughs> this week. We'll see some, but just not a whole lot. Temperatures right now standing pat in the upper 20s uh, to right around 30. I believe those are the wind chills, actually. Uh, when you combine the temperatures in the lower 30s and then this 5 to 10 mile an hour breeze, you get this, where it feels like we're about 30 in Dayton and Kettering. 27 in Springfield, Dark County coming in at 28, and then Clinton County and Wilmington coming in at 28 as the real feel. So we'll settle into the mid-30s here as we move into the overnight hours. We'll call it partly to mostly cloudy. 32 is what we'll start off with tomorrow morning. That'll be the low overnight tonight. There could be some patch fog here and there. We are dry, but wouldn't be surprised, especially if we get some of that uh, river fog or valley fog around. All right, so we've got cloudy skies that'll be coming back, and then look what happens tomorrow around noontime. We get a few showers that come in here, so that's why I said tomorrow's travel is kind of on the iffy side because we got showers on and off again through the afternoon. There might be a lull in the action mid to late afternoon, then more scattered showers come in for the evening time, and then by the time the temperatures drop tomorrow night, that'll mix in with a few wet flurries here. We're not looking at any accumulation. They could stick around in some places early Tuesday morning as well before we clear the skies for the afternoon on Tuesday, so there's where the sunshine is on Tuesday afternoon, and temperatures still stay in the lower 40s. That's storm system number one. Storm system number two, a little more potent. We get uh, cloudy skies on Wednesday, and then by Wednesday evening about 7 o'clock, the winds are gusty, but temperatures are warm in the 50s. So we got showers coming in Wednesday night, and then temperatures will be dropping Wednesday overnight. So our high on Thursday will actually be hit somewhere around midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning in the lower 40s, and then we'll start to fall. So that rain will transition in Thursday morning into snow showers, and we'll hang out in the mid-30s for much of the day uh, on Thursday. So we'll get snow showers all day through the afternoon and evening. That's not uh, going to amount to much. We're not looking at a lot of accumulation with this so far. Maybe some dusting on the grass, if anything, at this point. That could change once we get more data in. But then we dry out a little bit as we get into Thursday night. But with this wraparound flow, counterclockwise flow, that means by Christmas Day on Friday, we get snow flurries on and off again throughout the day. But it's awfully cold with this front coming in. We're talking about starting off Friday morning, temperatures in the teens. Combine that with the gusty winds. Wind chills will be in the single digits, maybe close to zero. So it's going to be really cold for Christmas. Although nostalgic with some passing flurries around, it's just going to really be cold. So the single, here's what Christmas is looking like. Single digit wind chills in the morning time. Gusty winds through the day. Going to make the wind chills feel like we're in the teens, if not in the single digits, with passing flurries throughout the day just to make it look pretty. So overnight tonight, 32 degrees, partly mostly cloudy. Some areas of patchy fog. Then tomorrow, we'll call it cloudy and mild with Passing showers, staying on the breezy side too. Temperatures about 43. 41 for us on Tuesday, partly cloudy skies. 51 for Wednesday, yes! But we pay the piper. On Thursday, again, now 43 is the wee hours of the morning, Wednesday night into Thursday. Snow showers throughout the day on Thursday. Temperatures in the mid-30s, breezy, then windy and cold for Christmas Day with passing flurries around. Temperatures in the mid 20s. Burr! Kirstie's on TV is going to give you an update on all of this coming up at 425 this morning. I bet I'd probably see her if I were to stick around for a couple of hours. <laughs> Check in with her first thing in the morning. Wait 10 minutes, you might catch her. It's, it's just that late. The Buckeyes, bowl bound. Reaction from Ohio State's fourth birth in the college football playoff. And the Wright State Raiders trying to keep their undefeated season intact. Highlights of their showdown with Detroit next.